Day number four of the African Development Bank annual meetings in Accra, Ghana, featured a recognition of the impact of the African Development Fund on the African continent. A global panel showered praise on what the fund has achieved over the past 50 years. I think what we see is that the ADF has produced tremendous development results for the continent over the past 50 years. It's been a critical partner for the United States and for other donors who want to come and be partners in Africa on an African-led vision for stable, sustainable growth. And we want to be part of that, and that's why we choose to partner with the ADF. We choose to partner with the ADF because we believe in a resilient, inclusive Africa, and we want to be part of that vision. And we come together here as a forum of international participants who can work together on taking that vision into the future. And that's why we want to talk about the next ADF, the next 50 years. I think for the UK, you know, we do do a lot bilaterally, and uh, our international development strategy that we published last week does say, say a lot about that as well. Uh, but it also recognises that you know, multilateral funds like this one are really, really essential if we're going to solve uh, global challenges that we all face, you know, like climate change, uh, you know, pandemics and so on. Uh, and in that respect, I think you know, we really recognise uh, the unique kind of offer of this fund, um, both in terms of the, um, you know, the, the real local insight and knowledge that the bank brings to, you know, to Africa, um, but also the real, the real niches and strengths that the fund has developed over time. So I think particularly, uh, you know, obviously the, the work it does on infrastructure. There was a really brilliant article um, by CGD published a, a, about a month ago, which showed that the, the bank does more infrastructure uh, with private participation than I think actually the World Bank does in Africa, despite being relatively um, uh, smaller. So uh, I agree. I think as a nation, the decision that we took was um, after all the sweat and tears that other African countries um, have endured, who decided to uh, open their doors and hearts to our founding fathers as South Africa um, and mothers, uh, we, we felt that this is the only way we know best to support and to show our appreciation. And, and, and that is the decision that we took of joining the ADF. So for us, it was really a, a decision that we took consciously and it is, it's a decision that we have not looked back. We continue to be uh, um, uh, supporters of the ADF and we really continue to appreciate the work that it does in supporting other countries on the African uh, continent. With respect to the future, I think it's, the fund will be incredibly important for Africa, but also uh, in a global perspective, because um, there are transformational changes which are needed. And to make these changes happen, we need uh, enthusiasm, strong leadership, and ownership. And this is what the fund has to offer. Um, Canada has been a, a, a supporter. We were an original shareholder. So what I can say is that we've been here for a long time and we will continue to be with the ADF in the future. We think there's a lot of work to be done. There are a lot of challenges facing the world and facing the continent. But we're looking forward to working with the ADF to tackle those. And so the hope for Canada is that all of these efforts reach everyone that no one is left behind, and that we are able to, even the most marginalized, change their lives. Following the panel discussion, Arise News caught up with AFDB President Dr. Akimumi Adeshino and Senegal's Minister of Economy, Planning and International Cooperation, Amadou Hot. African Development Fund is the concessional lending window of the bank that supports African countries, and it's been having tremendous uh, impact. Over the last uh, 50 years, that. It, we have been having the fund, it has provided uh, well over $45 billion uh, in support of African countries. And so we are able, for example, to see concrete things like the Senegambia Bridge, which we've never had since 1974. They've been looking forward for it. We constructed that. You look in many parts of Africa today uh, in terms of water, in terms of energy, uh, in terms of roads, in terms of agriculture. It's just a fund that is giving hope everywhere. So here we are, we are doing our African Development Fund 16th replenishment. So it's a, it's a time to celebrate, to celebrate the 
donor countries that have actually been putting money into it to celebrate the beneficiaries who have been benefiting and whose life has been changed. And then to say, at 50, you've got to really do bigger things at 50. And so we are saying it's time for the fund to even do bigger things. We have $25 billion of equity in the fund, and we think it's time for the fund to go to the market, leverage at least $33 billion, and create waves of hope all across Africa. So we are pretty excited. This is extremely important, especially now, when Africa needs to run the marathon and change the shirts at the same time. So you need more resources, you need more firepower, and the African Development Fund has a lot of equity in it. So that equity can be taken, it can be taken to the capital market and be rated and raise new money, concessional money, that will be on lent uh, to the ADF uh, countries. And that is of paramount importance because the resources that we need are much more than what we needed before, before COVID and now the Ukrainian crisis, which is having a large impact on all our economies, especially for low-income countries who need badly more resources and ADF to capital market will help achieve that goal. A night of music, poetry, and global recognition. The African Development Bank already has its sights set oh, on the never. next 50 years of impact on the African continent. Reporting from Accra, Rhodes Odiri, Arise News.